I've wanted to redo this review for a really long time. When I first reviewed the Leatherman Bolster, I really didn't give it the proper credit it was due. And I was looking for another time to actually cover it. And when I saw that it was actually $30 currently at Costco, making it the single cheapest full-size Leatherman, well, in probably a decade, <laughs> other than clearance items, uh, yeah, it's worth talking about. And uh, I went over to Costco and I, uh, I got five. <laughs> so let's redo and talk about why this might be the one Leatherman to get this season. So first off, what is the Leatherman Bolster? It might be a model you've never heard of before because it is a Costco exclusive and it's the only place you can get it. It comes in a package like this. It mentions that it has the 25 year limited uh, lifetime warranty. It's not really that limited by the way. And it comes with a sheath on top of everything else. So what is it? It is identical to the Leatherman Sidekick with one exception. It does not have a saw. Bloodman Sidekick currently running $70, without a sheath, by the way. This one, currently running $30. You could buy two of these for one of these right now, till the 11th of December. If that's all you wanted to know, how long you had to buy this, you have till December 11th before these no longer are on sale, and then they go back up to their standard price of between $40 and $45. So, Let's go over the tool set real quick and talk about what you're gonna get inside. Starting with the two tools you'll, work, you'll use the most. The blade and of course the plier. The blade is one-handable and has a liner lock. And that is a big thing. If you are starting out using a pocket knife every day, this is gonna be a familiar jump. Now, I know some knife lovers are gonna groan about this. Yes, it is tip down carry, but you're gonna get a lot of functionality in a very small package for an incredibly budget price. Then the next most used tool is of course the pliers. And here's something that I think is worth noting. I've talked to a lot of people about carrying a multi-tool, some of which already do. And usually the people I'm talking with in this case are people who carry either the wingman or the sidekick and they refuse to spend more money on the other Leathermans, not because they don't see the value, but because this right here, the fact that they are spring-loaded, has become something they like so much, they don't want to give it up. So, if you're one of those people, or think you might like something that is spring-loaded like this, there's only three models that exist that do. The Wingman, the Sidekick, and now the Bolster. So, that is a huge bonus. That's much easier to use than the other Leathermans. I will give it that. Although you do lose a little bit of strength because of the internal spring. Now on the inside, you're also going to get two large screwdrivers, starting with the Phillips, which is a flat Phillips, but it works pretty well. And then you're also gonna get a large flathead, which you could probably use as a prying tool in a tough spot. On the other side, we have three implements. You're gonna have the serrated blade, which if I'm being honest, would much rather have had the package opener of the wingman, but it's honestly not a bad backup if your blade runs dull or you're cutting through a lot of fibrous material. You can switch to this so you can leave your straight blade very sharp. You also are gonna get a small flathead with a file combination, and you're gonna get a can opener, bottle opener combo with a wire stripping notch built into the bottom of it. Now, one thing most people don't don't talk about that is worth noting. You will see these cutouts on the outside of the tool. And these actually have a really important use. If you're having trouble getting access to those fingernail deployments, you can actually push the tool up and you actually get it halfway there before you actually have to pull it out. So it's a nice way to push the tools up from their current positions so that you can grab them a little bit easier. And in some cases, you don't even need to use the finger, fingernail notches at all. So if they start to get difficult, you can always do that. And it's generally recommended that you either uh, lubricate or potentially tune up the tension on these implements. Now let's talk a little bit about weight 
This is something that I didn't touch on enough in the original review, which is why I'm glad I'm redoing it. This thing comes in just under six ounces, 5.9 ounces. One of the lightest multi-tools made by Leatherman that are in the full size category. In fact, it's only 0.9 ounces more than the Skeletool. And even the base model Skeletool is running about $80 right now, $80. So it just makes sense. If you're a first time buyer of multi-tools, this is the tool. This is the tool that you could buy for either yourself or someone else as their first tool because at the $30 price tag, you're still getting the quality that's still made in America from parts from all over. By the way, it's pretty much all American made except for the plier head, I'm pretty sure. And it's a good implement with a pretty amazing warranty backing it up. I just don't want to pass up the opportunity to let people know about this. If you're trying to get somebody interested in potentially carrying a tool for the rest of their life in their pocket, this is the one I think that's going to do it. I really do. In fact, my only concern is that it does such a good job that everyone demands spring-loaded pliers from here on in. But needless to say, I don't want to waste any more of your time. This is currently available at Costco till the 11th at the $30 $35 price tag, depending on where you live. Don't miss out or you're going to be very sad. Thanks for your time and we'll talk again soon.